Welcome back to Idiot Reviews. I'm Zach's friend, and with me is... Zach. Whoa. And uh, today, we're going to be talking about a movie that took my uh, heart, and uh, it, it ate it, and it's uh, dude, it fucking Kombat. it fucking ripped my fucking spinal cord out, dude. Like a fatality... <sighs> See, this movie stars now, the um, hit protagonist. That, now, um, that, that Easter egg from the game, not nearly as forced into this review as the, the uh, references to the game were in the movie. Only about 70%. Yeah, there, 70%. There we go. Only 7% as much. Okay, the get, the, get over, the get Over Here line by Scorpion in this movie was, was a cool fucking moment, though. I will say that. Yeah. And continue? Uh, yeah, this movie, it stars a guy named Cole Young. But it sounds like cool young. But not, it's ironic because he's an old MMA guy. Yeah, in the actual movie, you can very obviously tell the actor and like the character, and like he's not old, not that old. He's, I'd say he's he looks he's mid to late thirties at most. I'd say he's the default custom character to cutscene basically, and you see his superpower. Like we'll get to Arcanus here in a second, but like. In the beginning, he's a hewing punching bag, but later, this review contains spoilers, by the way. He gets a golden shirt, which helps him get hit, and then bounce the power back, so he's a human punching bag. That is such clever writing, man. I mean... Yeah, he becomes Gold fuck. Panther. He does become Gold Panther. He's got that thing where, like, when he gets punched, he glows, but, but then he can use the energy from that hit and use it against them. But you see, there's such two, an original power, by the way. But there is two things that separate him. One, unlike Panther, who has it as a full suit, he has it as just a shirt. And two, his arms has a stick and a blade. He's basically just wearing gold twizzlers on his upper half of his body. That's why yeah, pretty much. Speaking of gold twizzlers, we also got the villain of the film. Silly, gothic, silly putty Lord Ozai. The most normal looking dude in an Ozai costume and he just he travels through I mean, silly putty. He completely blow black. he completely blows the 1995 version out of the water. I mean look at the 1995 version. That guy is such a little bitch, but then you got this guy. Oh, dude, don't forget the anime villain. Movie. Oh, and the anime one. Oh. That's a lot better than the nineties one from what I've heard. Seriously though, like come on, this version though, total badass, such a great villain. Yeah, and then you get Goro, who kind of looks like a four-armed Hulk, and he dies to everybody's favorite character, Cole Young. Well, I, I seriously, when I when I played Mortal Kombat as a kid, always play as Cole Young. You, I mean, how can you not play as him with his iconic weapon, the wrench? Like, remember the and when the movie made the callback to that in his first action scene, where he grabs the wrench. That's like, dude, they did the wrench. They did the wrench. Also. I love, I love, I love how they incorporated his famous catchphrase. You're in the military. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's always class. As, as, as we're seeing picture frame, frame as framed pictures of Sonya being in the military are on screen. Because you know, the framed pictures. It's not like film is a films. It's not like film is a visual medium or anything. So it's like no. We gotta have them actually say it out loud too, because we're fucking idiots, man. Yeah, Zach. I mean, don't you know? You gotta let. Because, you know, this movie's intended for a very young audience, so they need that verbal confirmation. The graded R is for rascals. You know what they say, tell, don't show. Exactly. Now you're getting the film industry, man. I mean, it's, it's right there from the, from the beginning, like when you, when you first meet Cole Young. You could have had it start to where, like, I, I would have hated it if they just started it with him just in the fight and him getting punched in the face a lot visually showing us that he's even punching bag. But instead, no, we had to have him talking to his coach or whatever and have him actually say out loud, the human punching bag, Cole Young. But you see, that's how they foreshadow the fact that his power becomes being a human punching bag. No helmet or anything, though, because as you know, people never go for the head when fighting. Ever. Duh, I mean, except for that one scene where Kung Lao did it with his, like... That his hat thing to that one lady, but like you know, we, we don't count that. Oh yeah, that lady who got built up and then died. That may have been the j joke, actually. Are you saying the film was trying to be 
Yeah, I guess they did that with the... What's the name of the Australian guy again? Uh, Kano? Oh, yeah, Kano. <laughs> I know... Sorry to quote the exact same point Jeremy Johns made, but he is right that they at least did Sub-Zero and... Okay, Kano, unironically, right? all jokes aside, though, yes. Kano and... Sub-Zero. Sub-Zero. And Scorpion, when he was actually there, were the best yep. parts of the movie. Anyway, they were back, all anyway, three good, though. Anyway, ba- anyway, back to being idiots. Anyway, uh, so, yeah, uh... Oh, wait. And... Some of the effects were okay. Like, Jax's arms looked good. But then you also had the blood effect, which... Jelly? Very jelly. Yeah. As a not a jealousy, but, like, jam jelly. Yeah. Just wanted to make that very clear. Like, they weren't leaking jealousy from their body. Because, you know, I'm taking the movie's approach to where you have to make sure it's very, very clear. Speaking of very, very clear, I liked how I could act... I liked how, like, the, I, you couldn't tell what was happening in the fights. I mean, you could, but, like... Well, the good fights, you could tell what's happening. But then you had others where they did this really awesome thing that only the best action movies do. But they all close up and they do quick edit bullshit. That's right. Only good act... Only good movies, like Taken 2 and Taken 3, do shit like that, you know? Exactly. That's how you film action. Make sure you can't fucking tell what is happening. You know what my favorite part of the movie was? The fact that it's called Mortal Kombat, but they don't actually do the Mortal Kombat tournament. Well, yeah, that's, that's... They just that's, build up to it. That's the sequel bait. We gotta wait for Mortal Kombat 2, or even Mortal Kombat 3 for that. Or 4. Or 5. Because remember, the, the actor for Sub-Zero was so confident in this film, he signed on for 5 movies. And he died in the first one. Which means all the characters are probably gonna come back, which means... I guess, to be fair, it's kind of like that in the games, too, where the deaths really don't mean that much, but, I mean, it works for, like, Dragon Ball, and I heard it works well with the games, so I guess that's kind of the way around it. It's like, that we didn't waste the characters, we can just bring them back to life. That, that, yeah. That's actually kind of positive, but, but still, though, the film's called Mortal Kombat, but we're not going to do the tournament just yet. we got to have that teaser where we zoom in on Johnny Cage's dick. I know it was meant to focus on the belt, but, like, that was a zoom up. Dick. Be- I, I don't think Koi Gong's going to recruit him for the Mortal Kombat tournament. I think he's going because he saw that dick and he was like, nice. Gotta compliment him on that. Whoa, 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 whoa. That'd be the most personality Cole's ever shown. Shit, you're right. No, 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 you're right, you're right, you're right. I'm making up fan fiction at this point, which kind of what they did with Cole Young in general, but you know. Yeah, he does. I think. I remember while we were watching them, or like after the movie, I think you put it best when you said this was like a mid 2000s movie like, that they held off on for a long like, time like, you know those and then they just now decide to make it into a movie like now that we're actually getting to the now that we're actually getting to that point also install the movie where the fight didn't start off shitty then they actually become good and clear looking at the end our camera is faced the wrong way so anyway they told me the camera was facing the wrong way well you see I, I was making so many great expressions you're right our, you're right our acting is incredible according to that one commenter Thank you. See, one commenter on... Because I know the Ju- Snyder League, Justice League, got a lot of flack, which, considering a lot of it didn't age well, because it ended up being a good movie, but still, like, I mean... On rock, it was a good movie. We liked it. Our that video was, like, again, a joke. Good. But yeah, that was also the thing was... Our original review was a joke. It was? Yes. How else did we review it before it came out? We didn't even see the leak that accidentally came with the Tom and Jerry movie. That was Which we also, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh yeah. Anyway, I was gonna get to the to the point you were making. Oh yeah, Mortal Kombat. So you know. Oh yeah, this is a Mortal Kombat review. Yeah, that's right. Anyway, so you know, you know those video game movies from like the two thousands, like Legend of Chun Li, fucking what's another um, early two thousands? Uh, Hitman, the the first Hitman movie. Daredevil. That's not a video game movie. Oh wait, that, that's an early two thousands. We're, we're talking about video game movies, though. Oh, I thought you were just talking about 2000s movies. Well, video game movies can fit in there, too. So you, there was you a lot of those in the early you could You could say Daredevil 2, but it's not, I'm talking specifically video game-based ones, like Hitman, Legend of Chun-Li, because the original Street Fighter movie is at, is at least ironically fun. And, uh, fucking, what's it? You, leave, exp- you can leave... I think Assassin's Creed's also be not very good. Well, that's not early 2000s, though. That's it. That's, oh, yeah, that's 2010s. Yeah, that's 2010s. I forgot that came out in the 2010s. <laughs> But yeah, again, I also anyway, never saw the movie, but you know, I heard it was you, bad. You know how all those early, those 2000s video game movies, how they're shitty and they have similar reasons for being shitty? 
Yeah. And they're all like bland, cliched, stupid, just dumb action movies. It's like you, it's like this Mortal Kombat movie. It's like the script was written during that era of yeah. shittiness, and then years later, after Detective Pikachu and Sonic came out, we're like, hey, they can be decent. But they took it. They waited until after those movies came out and say, no, we're taking it back to two thousand seven. To I will or six. To be fair though, I will say I do think Mortal Kombat is at least better than those movies. It feels like it's a little more competently made. There's at least some memorable characters. There's at least some good action, like both of the Scorpion versus Sub Zero fights. This. Yeah, Kan Kano, Sub Zero, Scorpion when he's there. The Sub Zero versus Scorpion's fight. Why was that just not? Why was just? Why was that just not the movie? Why was it? Why wasn't that just the movie? Honestly, if the movie theaters are just like Sub Zero versus Scorpion fight scene, I honestly would have gladly gone to theater for it. But instead, we made the wise decision to watch it on HBO Max, which wise decision on our part. I mean, they advertise it as just Scorpion and Sub Zero. Yeah, they're the ones that pull. The yeah, main, I don't think the Cole Young even. A, Cole main, doesn't even appear in like the trailers nor the freaking. I mean, he's uh, in the trailers for like two seconds. Yeah, you figured. He, yeah, well, the way they advertised for you to be like a background character, which I mean, he kind of was for half the movie. And but... the main poster, who's on the main poster of the movie? Whose faces are on the main poster? Sub Zero and Scorpion. It was all over and the. And that doesn't happen until, well, the opening the scene. The beginning and but the end. The, the opening scene is before they're actually Scorpion and Sub Zero. I mean, you get their origin, which I think that works. Say, so, yeah, you get their but... origin in the opening, a whole like hour and a half, I'd say, of bullshit. And then at the very end, the very end of the movie, the climax of the film. You get what the poster promises. It's destroy all monsters all over again. Uh, wait, which destroy? Oh yeah, the, the, destroy. You know, the original uh, oh, yeah, 60s yeah. destroy monsters where the, the whole monster battle didn't happen. Or Godzilla vs. Megalon, because that one straight up doesn't happen until the very end. In fact, I heard Godzilla was thrown in that last minute, but I will. one other thing I will say, which I don't know if this really counts as a praise for Mortal Kombat, but the film is at least short. It didn't feel short, but it is short. Yeah, but you're saying... If this was a two-and-a-half-hour movie... Here, here's the thing, though. Scorpion's Revenge is 30 minutes shorter, and you get more out of that movie than you do this one. Oh, yeah. Scorpion's Revenge is pretty much a better version of this movie. It's basically the best Mortal Kombat movie ever made, Scorpion's Revenge. I mean, of all the ones I've seen, I agree. I haven't seen that many. Now, we're saying this as people who haven't played the games that much, at least. Yeah, I mean... So, our, our knowledge of the lore is, like... I mean, heck, maybe there's some hardcore it's like, fans of the it, games that actually really like the movie, which, if you like this movie, that's cool. Like, Ed, I wanted, Boone, Ed Boone well, hasn't said anything about the movie, apparently. <laughs> the most I've seen him say is that he said, this is a good time to be a Mortal Kombat fan. And he said, we got a new movie. We got the 10th anniversary for Mortal Kombat 9 plus 11. And, uh, but he didn't say what the, he didn't say whether or not the movie was going to be good or not. He just said, plus we have a movie that's out. Mortal Kombat is a movie. That's it is a movie. Us. It is a movie now. But is it of all time like Joker? I mean, it is definitely a film, and it came out during this timeline, and I'm assuming it's going to be here for quite a bit, so I would say it is the movie of all time. We see the jokes that we're pulling a Cole Young and stating the obvious. I want to see an entire film where, like, it's Cole Young going on this, like... like here's, here's, what the, here's what should happen. Take Cole Young and just insert him into different other more iconic movies in which he just states the obvious, like The Dark Knight. Uh, Joker, you're kind of you're kind of crazy. You're kind of mean. Two Face, you look a bit hurt. <laughs> you got a little something. Two Face, you got a little some something. something. <laughs> Pain. Bane, are you by chance Jamaican? How did he confuse Australian for Russia in the movie? I still don't get that. <laughs> I forgot about that part. <laughs> Speaks with a clear Australian accent. What I got the You Russian? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, let's give us some another movie scene example. Uh freaking like imagine him in like freaking Titanic. Hey guys, that iceberg's a little dangerous. As the boat was sinking. <laughs> That's it. If it was before that, actually be him being smart. But no, no. It's as, the boat, yes. as the boat, after the boat even came like in half too. Like after that happened, as he's hanging on for dear life, guys. That, that's a pretty dangerous iceberg. Looks like we're going swimming. <laughs> <laughs> 
So, uh, you know, guys, I think the main characters like each other. Joker, uh, like like the Walking Phoenix film, after he kills the other guy, uh, I don't think he's gonna be okay. <laughs> Both him physically and him mentally, I don't think they're all right there. He might be a little screws loose. Well, him is literally some screws loose because you know, head blew up. But yeah. oh yeah, sees them the Murray show. He might have a headache. <laughs> all right. So all right. basically, more. What, what's your overall thoughts on Mortal Kombat? Like, if you had a rating system or whatever, grade, whatever, we don't have to rate it, though. What's your overall opinion of Mortal Kombat? Movie? Mortal Kombat. With a K. With a K. Because, oh, oh, yeah, even Cole Young pointed that out in the movie. He was like, spell the K? It's not spell the K. <laughs> you silly goose. Does he get it? Because that's yeah. a that's a common like nitpicky like little joke people like to do online. Where it's like that's what we can. Yeah. If them being if them being meta, it's a meta. It's very, joke. very meta. Like meta night. It's very. I I'm sure Deadpool Deadpool writers themselves wrote that particular part of the movie. And by Deadpool writers, you mean uh, that one guy who cosplays as Deadpool at Comic Con? That nostalgia critic pointed fun of in that one episode. Overall, I if I were to grade this movie, I'd give it a... C plus. I'd give it a D, but that works. C plus. That's actually pretty generous. That's like, okay. The, that's, that's, the joke. That's, the, that's the joke. Oh, that's my. That's the joke. That's the Man. joke. Well, it is called Idiot Reviews. Well, that was our Idiot Review of Mortal Kombat. Hope you had a good time with it. I'm going to yeah. shave. I said a Y, I was like a weird yeah. thing, okay. I'm, being, I'm becoming, a, a becoming a lumberzack. Yeah. Uh, you guys aren't gonna wanna see this.